Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are doing something different on the channel today. I know you guys know I airboat. You guys know I have an airboat. Well, I also build airboats. So we are doing the under 5K budget airboat build today. Should have started the video when we first started the boat. It crossed my mind, but I really wasn't sure how many of my viewers would like it or how many people would be interested in it. So. I got a little late start on the video process, but if you guys like it, make sure you let me know and I will make sure I finish out this video of the building process. It's turning out pretty good, darn sweet, so hope you like the video guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Alright y'all, this is the budget airboat haul was pretty pretty rough when we got it I should have uh, I've got pictures but no one wants to see a video going through a bunch of pictures so we started this about a month or so ago and it was pretty rough all the stringers needed replaced replaced them um, needed a whole new deck in the front and my buddy's currently glassing the bottom he's still got a lot of work to do this is his boat so this is going to be the budget build airboat under 5k this is the motor for the budget boat 350 SBC SBC for those who don't know means small block Chevy but there she is being it's a budget boat, it's going to be a direct drive. This is the budget trailer. It's an old like V-bottom haul boat trailer. We're going to convert it for the airboat. It was a boat my buddy already had that we're building the boat for. So it'll be converted. A little bit of welding work, not too much. Put some straight C-channel in there or something. Build the fenders out, and uh, she should be all right. All right, you guys. Did a little bit more priming this morning, or this afternoon, whichever you want to call it. And uh, getting there. Getting there. This is the budget airboat. What budget? <laughs> Got some of the wire going in here. She's just about all primed up. Need a little bit more primer on there. And a few things here and there. Still got to finish the wire. On the back, back here, got it started over there. That's a good idea how you got it coming out of here. Cool though, if you ask me. Go for it.
What are we doing? I need to make the video. We got Jones Custom Fabrication going on over here. We built. We're getting boat parts tomorrow, so we're going magnet fishing. We're going magnet fishing. <laughs> we're gonna find us a safe pool of some rich old lady's treasure. Guns. guns, whatever the hell we find. <laughs> as long as it's got a story, we're good. Joey's painting the hall. Bless his soul. This right here is going to be a slick old airboat, boy. Listen, we got a fill here. Hey, tell me that helmet don't look bad. Make shift airboat, and tomorrow we're gonna go magnet fishing because we need parts. Parts for what? Parts for the airboat. <laughs> we can get that sucker going. Hey, we were magnet well, fishing at my dad's bar. He come out and he's like, "What are you fishing for, airboat parts?" <laughs> <laughs> We find us an airplane with an aircraft engine in it, we're gonna be good. We'll get all our shit out the river. <laughs> Salvage only. Salvage only. Broke ass fucking cracker. If it ain't been used, we don't use it. <laughs> Colton, what's up, buddy? You ready to go airboating? Wiggles! What's up, buddy? Hold on. Hold on, on Trav. You gotta get this video monetized, man. It's got people's music in it. Let's hear it, Phil. Best, best gas tank on the river there, Hulls. <laughs> you need this sucker right now. <laughs> We got the slickest rigging on the river. Custom made gauge box, floor panels, everything, jack plates. Nothing about this boat that's not custom. You'll never see another one like it. Look at that engine stand. The boom boom now, boy. I hope they can, you guys can see, uh, there's my boat. I done finished my motor. It's, I'll show you that another day. Here's a cage for the budget build that I did all by myself. Buddy wasn't here to help me. I build these for a living, guys. This is just conduit, nothing special. I can do stainless, no problem. I can roll it and bend it the same way. Sides, we just did a straight lay because it was simple and whatever. But I got the this bar back in here for the uh, running lights. I drilled a whole bunch of holes in it to make it look billet when it's painted. This is going to be a hammered silver. And uh, the rigging is also a hammered silver. The seats will be the gray, like the hall. The hall's gonna have a silver through it. The seats will be gray. All this will be silver, hammered silver. And uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right, y'all, it's the next day. This was primed a little bit. It still needs more primer, but I just got done priming the uh, rigging for well, until I ran out of primer but quick take from yesterday all right we got Zach here fixing to mix up the quick slip with his 
awesome homemade bit I welded up for. Whoever made that's pretty badass. Yep, made out of a eye bolt. We're gonna make sure we read the instructions on this though. But he's got it prepped out, taped off, and ready for the slick. Let them instructions say, boy. Let's see here. Don't fuck it up. Uh, rough what, gel coat, 24 grit sanding disc on grinder. Blow the dust off with the air hose, not your mouth. Wipe prepared hole with lightly moistened acetone rag to remove remainder of the dust. Tape off mask, remainder of exposed hull. Mix bottom well, drill with paint stir, works best. Add hardener, 40 cc's per one gallon. So, uh, how fast is it set up? What is that, a cup for your medicine? Well, you guys, I'm going to let him get to mixing that so he can get this on and we'll be back in just a second. Hey, mix it up, boy. And it's good. You haven't put it in there yet? No. What are you it's waiting for? Why do they give you so much hardener for one gallon? I don't know, but I'm glad they give us more than we need. I'm just going 30. You know what I'm saying? Positive is out here. Alright, for you guys watching, do what the instructions say. Don't listen to this guy. What's that say? 40. Yeah, you did 30. Mm -hmm. Says 40 cc. And, and it goes to 50 if it's below 70. So when it's 120, I think maybe we should go down to huh? It'd be fine. Start rolling her out. Not something, you know, make sure you keep it out of control. They say to go um, parallel with the the hull, you know, like this. That well, would make sense. Right. Don't dry roll it. Keep it nice and slidey wet like you have it. When you start hearing the roller going, yeah. and you're dry rolling, you better stop. Dude, that's like a quarter of the gallon. Yeah, you need a lot more. Two gallons is gonna be plenty though. No, you need like twenty. Yeah. That's true. We're just doing all out of the If any of you guys want to comment on here and say if we're doing it right or wrong, go ahead. Because I've never quick slicked anything before, and I don't think I'll ever quick slick anything in my lifetime. Until you see how quick and slick this boat is going to be. Yeah. It might be slick, but it, might, it ain't going to be that quick. All right, dry rolling. All right, y'all. To me, quick slicks like wiping for you poop. It just don't make no sense. But it, it works for some people, I reckon. I prefer polymer on the bottom of my it's, boat. It's more for race boats, really. Well, good thing that's what you're building. <laughs> and people that don't have a lot of money. 
Shit, by the time you do this twice, you done bought a sheet of polymer. Polymer. Well, three coats and you bought a piece of polymer. Now, is it better to go polymer? Of course. You end up on the bottom of the river when you get a little stump? Alright, first gallon's on. Somewhat evenly. That's the first gallon of the process. Zach keeps like to thinning it out by going over it again. You can see it one gallon's just not enough. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see through a lot of these spots. Painters call them holidays. And it looks like Christmas around here. But yeah, first coat, one gallon. I would personally put like three or four gallons on it, but this is a budget build, so it's only getting two. All right, y'all, so for future reference, definitely put what they tell you to is for hardener and on this, and I believe it's 40 cc's. Don't put 30 because you think it's really hot outside. Because it definitely will not set up like it's supposed to, as fast as it's supposed to. Alright y'all, this is the paint we're using on the rigging that we also mixed in with the hammered black. The black was the same color as this label right here. Um, but we mixed some of the silver in there to make it a, a, like a nice darker gray but that's what we're using for the boat um, and the rigging all right y'all well quick slicks done two gallons I probably would have put three or four Nah, I wouldn't even run the stuff but it's a budget boat hopefully uh, us cutting the corners on this budget doesn't get him on the bottom of the creek there she is just pulled the tape off of her and uh, there she is so if you guys would like to see more videos like this I really wish I had started this process when we started building it so it could have been more like a step-by-step -step video for you to see the building process and all the glass work we had to do to this thing. But anyways, I didn't. And we'll see how good this video does. So if you guys like this video and you want to continue seeing what we're doing on this boat, make sure you make uh, hit the like button, make leave a comment for me. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. And I will make sure I video every step and process from here on out and post it for you guys to see um, this is the under 5k budget airboat build reason we were able to keep it the reason we were able to keep it under 5k is because if some of you guys didn't know I build airboats so me building it for this guy here was able we were able to do it right under 5k so we got I had a set of rudders that a buddy of mine had given me that were brand new I gave to him um, we were able to look on Facebook Southern Airboats find a cheap gas tank again I built all the rigging in the cage and everything I even was able to build him his gauge box um, a buddy of his also gave him a radiator and a carburetor for his motor he found a really nice prop for surprisingly cheap on Facebook on Southern Airboats. So that's how we were able to make it happen. So don't forget, you guys are watching Bucks, Ammo, and Arrows, and I appreciate it so, so much for you guys tuning in to watch us build this thing. So if you guys need an airboat built, hit up your boy. I'll get you taken care of. I can do stainless conduit please make sure you smash that like and subscribe button 
Help me get to a thousand subscribers. If you guys want to continue, or I'll find you. If you guys want to continue to see me doing stuff like this, because this is what I do, let me know, and I'll be sure to post every video of the stuff I'm doing around here. I have a 050 Mustang right there. It's got a built motor and transmission in it, but the body on it has got a lot more rust than I want to deal with. And right here, I have another 87 Mustang that has very, very low miles on it. Um, the guy I got it from, it had been sitting in a warehouse since 1990. It's the same exact car, no rust whatsoever. I'm going to swap everything over from that good car to this car. And if you guys would like to see that, let me know. And I'll be sure when I do it to video it and show you the all the headache and hard work that goes in it. So that much being said, guys, until next time, remember as always, I love you. Jesus loves you. See ya.